This is activity four. This is the cool down for lesson 13. So it's called spicy popcorn. Lesson 13 is two graphs for each relationship. And so here's the setup. Elena goes into a store and wants to buy some popcorn. She bought 10 ounces of spicy popcorn for $2.50. So now we're gonna look at that relationship in two ways. There's two graphs for each relationship, two equations for each relationship. So first we're gonna look at it as the number of dollars per ounces. So how much money is she spending for one ounce? Well, if she spends or if she buys one-tenth the amount of popcorn, that's one ounce, she's gonna spend one-tenth the amount of money. So that's 25 cents per one ounce. So think one-tenth. In this case, if you just use the reciprocal relationship, which is 10 ounces for $2.50. So how much popcorn is she getting for that $2.50? So if you buy um, 10 ounces, you get two for $2.50. And this one's a little bit harder because you can't, it's hard to look at and just say, um, gee, take one tenth as we did up here. So I looked at this as 100 ounces for $25 which is the same as four ounces for one dollar. So most, you know, most of you see right away that there are four times 25 is 100. So you divide 100 by 25, that's four ounces for one dollar. A little bit harder to see that relationship. Okay, to write an equation, Think about this form, so y is equal to kx, and k is that constant of proportionality. So if it's ounces per dollar, that constant of proportionality, so ounces per dollar right here, ounces per dollar, that constant of proportionality is four. It's four ounces for one dollar. So ounces per dollar equals k, and so the number of ounces that you get for each dollar dollar is four ounces. So the equation is ounces is equal to the constant proportionality times the cost. So ounces is equal to four times, if it's one dollar, you're going to get four ounces. On the other hand, the equation for dollars per ounce. So this is y over x dollars per ounce. So this is going to be um, and the, the moment that you change this to a decimal value, you kind of lose sight of the reciprocal relationship. So this is $1 per four ounces, or one-fourth of a dollar per ounce. So that constant of proportionality is actually one-fourth, which is the same as 25 hundredths or 25 cents. So the cost is one-fourth of a dollar for each ounce. So in this case, you buy one ounce of popcorn, it's going to cost you one-fourth of a dollar or 25 cents. So that's this relationship up here. So four ounces for one dollar or one dollar for four ounces, which is the same as 25 or one-fourth of a dollar for one ounce or 25 cents for one ounce. Gets to be a lot, um, but basically focus on the constant of proportionality and its reciprocal to get the other equation. So it says um, two ways of looking at this. So how much popcorn am I going to get for my money? So you walk up to the counter, you say, oh, gee, I, have, I only have $3. How much popcorn can I get for that $3? So that's going to be, um, Y is going to be the ounces of popcorn, and X is going to be the number of dollars you have. Or you walk up to the counter and say, I want to buy four ounces of popcorn. How much is that going to cost me? So that's this one. How much money for my popcorn. So by four ounces, how much does it cost? So that's dollars per ounce. That's is this equation right here. So let's work with this one. This is the more normal way of looking at it. You go in and you buy a certain amount and they tell you at the counter, oh, that's going to cost you so much money. So this is cost in dollars. So this is these are dollars on this axis, on the y-axis and the ounces of popcorn are on the x-axis. So this is going to be cost in dollars per ounces of popcorn. So you go in, buy one ounce, that's 25 cents. Two ounces, that's 50 cents. 
three ounces that's 75 cents and four ounces that's a dollar so right here one ounce 25 cents two ounces is two times 25 cents or 50 cents three ounces three times 25 cents four ounces four times 25 cents or a dollar so it's a dollar for four ounces of popcorn here's the four ounces of popcorn and it costs you one dollar so the cost is equal to 25 cents per ounce of popcorn so you buy four ounces that's four times 25 cents that equals a dollar so i'm going to put together i put together this diagram once again which shows the re reciprocal relationship and that relationship once again is up here if this is ounces per dollar remember that if it's one dollar you get four ounces for that one dollar so this is four ounces for one dollar of uh, four ounces of popcorn per dollar so this relationship is how much you get per dollar now the reciprocal relationship is how much money it costs you for four ounces so the reciprocal and the multiplicative inverse is going to be four ounces which is the x coordinate and you pay one dollar for that four ounces but you want to get this to one ounce you want to buy one fourth the amount of popcorn which is one ounce so that's going to cost you one fourth of a dollar which is 25 cents so one fourth of a dollar per one ounce so this diagram i know that i have to i know i want one dollar because it's four ounces per one dollar so i want to draw this diagram where this entire circle is equal to one dollar and I know that I want to divide into four parts because it's going to be four ounces for that one dollar so one ounce is going to cost me 25 cents and that's the reciprocal relationship right there it's four ounces per one dollar or 25 cents or one fourth of a dollar per one ounce two ounces cost you two fourths of a dollar three ounces cost you three fourths of a dollar and four ounces cost you four fourths of a dollar or one dollar so this takes a while to get used to but i like it i like seeing the whole thing is one relationship so that's four ounces per one dollar and then the reciprocal relationship is one fourth of a dollar for one ounce and so the way the way to set this up is look at the constant proportionality that's greater than one so this constant proportionality for ounces per money or per dollar is four ounces per one dollar so look at that first make the whole circle equal to that one dollar in this case and you know you have to divide it up in four parts and then when you look at the constant proportionality that's less than one so this is one fourth one fourth of a dollar for one ounce you know that that's going to be parts of this circle and it's going to be four parts because it's one fourth in this case this would take a while to get used to but the more you try to draw this diagram i think the more these kinds of problems will make sense.